Hey, 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 Cancer. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Cancer. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're utilizing that link in the description box, Cancer, as there are scammers about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading if you order one from me, as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, so Cancer, your overall energy is the Four of Swords. You have the Eight of Stars as your challenge. You have the Chariot, the Ace of Wands, and the Hierophant. Mm. Wow, you're going within. There's a lot of spiritual energy here, Cancer. Okay, you're seeking higher wisdom. You're going towards something with the Ace of Wands, something passionate. It could involve work. And you're not, you're keeping it to yourself. Some of you could be moving. Leadership. There's something involving leadership here. Okay, tell me about the Four of Swords. We have the Ten of Moons. Wow, the Seven of Swords. That's not saying anything. That's not saying anything. The Page of Wands. So this is a wish fulfillment, okay? That, that's what I'm feeling in the Ten of Moons. A wish fulfillment that leads to emotional fulfillment, right? Which is the Ten of Cups. Page of Wands. Hmm. I feel like this is like talking to yourself. This is giving yourself messages. Okay, almost like I, I want to say affirmations or something while you're going within and meditating. And it's about this Eight of Wands. Uh, sorry, this Ace of Wands. Okay, the Seven of Swords, you're strategizing. Okay, and how to do this again, not communicating. Okay, so let's get a kipper. Mm. Courthouse. So you could be making some serious decisions here. I'm feeling serious decisions regarding this, regarding this Ace of Wands, okay? All right, tell me about the Eight of Stars, the Two of Moons, the Two of Swords. We have the King of Stars and the Six of Moons. Okay. So you may have a decision, wow, between two people in two jobs. That's what I'm feeling. But it's going to be a challenge to choose. Okay. I'm also feeling balance with work and love. Trying to balance work and love. Okay. Really speaking from your heart because I feel like you're holding a lot in. That's what I'm getting with the six of moons. Okay, give me a kipper. Ah, despair. Family room. So this despair is this two of swords, I feel. You're gonna feel challenged. You're gonna feel stuck. Okay, and you're going to have to pull these swords out of your heart chakra and let go, let loose, let your heart fly here with the six of moons, okay? Because there's something, okay, that you want to build, but it's a challenge because you're getting stuck and you may be focused on the material. So you need to get in your heart space, truly. All right, what's your chariot? 
disinvolved. Okay, three of moons. So this could be dating, dating a couple of people. This is that choice. But there's reason to celebrate here. There's the choice, two of stars, okay? Four of stars. You don't want to let go. <laughs> you don't want to let go of any of them. Okay? The chariot. I'm feeling balance, right? You've got to connect to that heart space. You've got to connect to that divinity within. This is your higher wisdom. This is where you're headed, right? Male or female, you're connecting or you're going to begin to connect with the heart space, with that, you know, it's, it's high priestess vibe. That's what I'm getting with mature woman. And it's related to the Hierophant, which is essentially the High Priest. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Ace of Moons. Seven of Wands. Ooh, you're guarded too. And the Star. Wow. Okay, you're guarded because I feel like you're protecting a wish with this Star. And it's something that you love. Now, this could be a person, a business. It could be both. Because the Ace of Moons is love, right? The Ace of Moons is new love. Working out possibilities. So there may be more than meets the eye to this Ace of Wands here, Cancer. I want you to think bigger with the Ace of Moons, the Seven of Wands, and the Star. Okay, because your confidence will increase. You have mature woman over here. So think bigger. Pathway, see? So this is your path. And it gets illuminated. But I just, I feel like you should be thinking bigger, wider. Like this light, see this light? It should be expanding out. That's what it should be doing. Clarifying the hair font is death. So there's a huge transformation, and I do feel it's spiritual transformation here. Five of Wands. Well, there's going to be some challenges, right, within, with the Five of Wands. Queen of Wands. But you're coming out confident. The Queen of Wands is confident and magical, right? She goes after what she wants. She's sexy. She's confident. So I feel like you're going to choose in love and in business to go forward. Um, it could be, like I said, it could be a choice between two people. Well, one could be an earth sign here. Okay. Or if it's not a choice between two people, it's working on that balance between work and love. Okay. But you will. You will get there. Oh, let me get sudden well. See? Think big. Think big. Because I feel like this is where you're headed. Number 11. Twin flame number, but psychic number. Okay? But through the heart. All right. So tell me about your advice what advice <laughs> the nine of moons think bigger wish keep wishing you've got two wish cards nine of stars be confident feel abundant okay things are coming to a completion things will illuminate for you Mature man. So you found your match. That's what I'm getting. You found your match. All right. So advice for cancer. Whoa. Advice for cancer. Okay. Dear you. There are times in life when taking a risk is better left for another day. 
Other times are perfect for taking that leap, no matter how dangerous it might seem. Well, hold on to your parachute strings for today is leap time. Realize that no matter what, we will not let you fall down, get lost or hurt yourself in any way on this one. Even if it may feel like you are in free fall, we are here for you. And you can stop freaking out about getting hurt and relax in this into this transition to something new. All the elements are in place and your soul is ready for a new experience. No matter what you're asking about, it's time to take the risk and do that thing that scares you. No matter what happens, you will land softly, right on target. Don't worry about the outcome. Spirits get that covered. It's taking the leap itself. That's the point. We love you. We love your courage. Enhance it. So take that leap and think bigger in love and in life in both areas. Okay. All right, Cancer. I hope that resonates. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already have not If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're utilizing the link in the description box, Cancer, if you are interested as there are scammers about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading if you order one from me, as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I wanna hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fabulous week, and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.